The new Red Dead Online update just came out, so if you need help gearing up for any of that new content, check out G2A with the link in the description, and use cashback code BOSS if you want to save a little bit extra as well. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about something spooky that happens when dealing with the cave devil. So we've actually covered the cave devil in a previous video that I've done on the channel where we've actually gotten up to his hiding spot and checked out a lot of the things he was hiding and seeing if you could interact with him. Well, a lot of people have found some new stuff about this guy and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video today. So in case you're wondering who the cave devil is, uh, he's located on the far east side of the map in this secret cave that you can go inside. And uh, it's pretty spooky, like there isn't a whole lot going on in this cave other than a wooden bridge that sort of leads to where his sort of dwelling is. There's a bunch of like blood handprints on the wall and there looks to be like carvings and drawings and stuff like that. Overall, it's very creepy. And I think you can have up to five interactions with this guy. And to give you a little bit of a better idea of who we're dealing with, this is just a sample of uh, the conversation that he'll actually have with you. Oh, 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 oh. Will you please, please, please stop coming here to annoy me? I don't like you. I won't listen to you. I don't want a friend like you. Even if I wasn't strange and odd and in a cave, I wouldn't like you or know you or be your friend. Even if I wasn't me, I still wouldn't like you. If you were Socrates and I was Plato, I'd give you the hemlock myself. Go away. Oh, and by the way, you smell awfully. I really don't want company. This cave isn't for the likes of you. You'll not be happy here. Listen, if I wanted to make friends, I wouldn't live in a cave. If I wanted a friend, I wouldn't choose you. I don't know you, I don't like you, I don't want you. I don't want friends, I don't want company, and I particularly don't want you. Whoever you are, if I come out of the shadows, you'll be very, very, very frightened. I see you, man. You're just a man. I'm an immortal spirit. I am. I am. I am. And that's a fact. I am the spirit of living in a cave and laughing at idiots like you. I'm above humanity, miles above it. I prove that by living in a cave. I'm above your feeble morality. I don't like you. I don't need you. I don't. I'm not lonely. I've never been lonely. I've got my thoughts and my memories. They're special. 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 Special! You'll not get them. You won't. Leave me alone. Just go away. Hey there, partner. I've told you before, don't come here. Okay, so you guys can see once the conversation is over, he sort of retreats back up to that little area up there. And on the surface, it doesn't seem as if there's any way to get up there. There's no ladder, there's no stairs. So he's just sort of unreachable. Except there's this one, like, I think it's stalactite, stalagmite. I'm not sure which one comes from the ground, which one hangs from the ceiling. But anyways, you can jump on it, and if you jump towards his little lair up there, you can actually get inside. Uh, Arthur makes a very big jump, and he's able to get up in there. And of course, as you guys know, you can sort of see what's going on, and he basically just sits there and does nothing, which uh, is kind of strange. Now, there's two interesting things that I want to talk to you guys about today. One was actually found by a user on the Red Dead Mysteries subreddit. 
A user, Jompin123, said that he heard some mysterious singing spirits. There's actually a dead end that you can run into in the cave where if you were to jump down, you would just die. And uh, I know a lot of people are going to say this is probably just the music. He says he plays with zero musical score on. So take a listen to this right here. So how creepy is that? I heard some pretty spooky sounds in this cave, but I didn't hear anything like singing spirits. So again, that to me is kind of interesting. Now the next thing I thought was kind of strange is the fact that there are like these weird paintings all over the wall. And I don't know if they're like hieroglyphics or if they were drawn by him, but they really are strange. Now, some people have said that these paintings look like Agnes Dowd, who is the ghost woman in the swamp. However, I think that's a little bit hard to believe because A, this is on the far west side of the map and Agnes Down is on the far east side of the map in Lemoyne. So they're states apart from each other. I mean, they could be connected, but to me, I'm seeing a lot of like faint red outlines of, you know, what look to be human sized figures. So I think this is where I'm going to need your help the most. If you guys have any idea of what these cave drawings could be, please let us know in the comments down below. Some of them look like stick figures, others look like full drawn, full sized humans. So I'm really not too sure what to make of it. Now, as you guys know, the last time we visited the cave devil, the one big thing about him is that you actually can't interact with him up here. I'm assuming Rockstar didn't expect anyone to be able to get up into this location. And because of that, he doesn't really do anything or say anything. Uh, he'll really just only mumble like some interesting lines of dialogue if you actually aim your weapon at him. You beast! Just how stupid are you? You beast! Such stupidity. I said stop that, you beast! Such stupidity. Just how stupid are you? I have never met a more idiotic man. Just when I think there are no more morons in the world, another one comes along. Such stupidity. Just how stupid are you? But outside of that, we can't really do a whole lot. You're not able to lasso him or anything along those lines. The only way in which you can interact with him is if you actually kill him. And his health is set to the bare minimum. So, for example, if you, like, shoot him in the toe with a varmint rifle, he'll die. If you punch him once, he'll die. So, not only did Rockstar not give him any, like, vocal interaction options once you're up here, but he also received the lowest amount of health. Now, once he does die, you do have the option to loot him, which he didn't have anything, and you also have the option to pick him up. Now, in case you guys are curious, the cave devil has like a secret entrance into his cave that he can escape from. And what this does is it gives us the opportunity to bring his body outside. So I wasn't quite sure what I could do with the cave devil at this point because he's not alive. So bringing him to a town wouldn't really do anything again because he's dead. I couldn't really turn him into the sheriff. So I don't think he's really committed a crime. So the one thing I kind of thought of here was, and we're actually really close to this location, is maybe I could bring this guy to the pagan ritual site. A lot of people have been asking me, what happens if you sacrifice the cave devil at the pagan ritual site? And well, we're going to find out what happens. Now, I was a little bit skeptical of this, but I have seen some very spooky stuff occur at this location, so I didn't want to rule anything out. So we found the pagan ritual site. It's actually located really close to the cave devil's sort of secret underground lair. And uh, this was the first time that I had visited this location in game. So everything was there, like the body on the spike, the mask was still there. So I wasn't quite sure what to do or what would happen, but essentially what I did 
was just leave the cave devil's body there. I wanted to see like what would happen if we returned back another day. Because that's typically what happens at this pagan ritual site. You leave something here, you come back for a couple of days, and uh, what will happen is there will be something different. Like the body will either start rotting away or something spooky will happen, like it'll be mummified. So that's what I ended up doing. I ended up sleeping for about 36 hours. I did like the maximum each time. And then I returned to the pagan ritual site. And when I actually showed up to the pagan ritual site, there were four wolves or three wolves that were actually on top of the site itself. They were right there. And I don't know if that is in any way significant to this mystery today. So I ended up finishing off all the wolves. However, what was strange, the cave devil's body was completely gone. Like, wasn't rotting away, wasn't, you know, somewhere else. It was just, it had completely vanished. And what's weird is this doesn't happen with any other body that you put on the pagan ritual site. Like, for example, I'm going to put one of these wolves on here just to show you guys that if you do come back at another date, it will still be there. But for whatever reason, the cave devil was not there. So is this just an oversight from Rockstar? Is it because he's a special character? Does he not stay there if you run away? Or did someone come get his body and bring it somewhere else? Now that last one might be a little bit far-fetched, but it's still kind of spooky. The fact that like he's not there, but everyone else you decide to bring there ultimately stays. So again, I'm not sure what exactly happened or went on here, but this is by far one of the spookiest things I've ever seen. But anyways, that's all the info that I've got for you guys in this video today. That right there is some more creepy details on the cave devil hermit that you might not have known about in Red Dead Redemption 2. As always, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this entire story and more. And if you have any uh, more details or insight that might help us solve this mystery, please let us know in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.